Welcome to the snapshot of Eat That Frog, 21 Great Ways to Stop Procrastinating and Get More Done in Less Time by Brian Tracy. Here, we'll explore the key insights from Eat That Frog. Introduction. There have never been more opportunities for success than there are today. The options are endless, and unless you carefully prioritize your tasks, it's easy to become overwhelmed and procrastinate. Think about this. If you were to begin each day by eating a frog, you could go through the rest of the day with the relief that the worst part is behind you. Your biggest task of each new day is your frog. This task will most likely have considerable consequences and a lasting impact on your future. This is also the one you are most likely to procrastinate on, unless you are intentional about your actions. Eat that frog first. When you learn to overcome the habit of procrastination by eating that frog, you open yourself to a whole new world of opportunity and success. Set the table. Clear goals are directly related to productivity. People often procrastinate because they have vague goals. They aren't sure what they should be doing, how they should go about it, or why it's important. Clarity, on the other hand, is motivating. Writing your goals is especially powerful because it makes your plans tangible. Consider these seven steps for understanding and accomplishing your goals. 1. Decide exactly what you want or need to accomplish. If it's a task that's been delegated to you, discuss with your superior what's required and which aspects take priority. 2. Write your goal or goals down. This is the fastest way to gain clarity and remove any doubts about what you need to do. 3. Set a deadline. Without an end in mind, there will be no urgency in your work, and it will be extremely easy to procrastinate. 4. Make a list of every step required to accomplish your goal. You will have a better understanding of what the entire process entails when you see each portion laid out. 5. Formulate a plan based on the list. Prioritize the tasks and understand how they relate to one another. 6. Take action immediately. Even if your first drafts are rough, it's better to start and edit than to never start at all. 7. Commit to doing at least one thing each day. Each accomplishment, no matter how small, should move you toward your final goal. If necessary, add it to your daily calendar. These steps give you a clear understanding of what you're doing and why. The more you see yourself accomplishing, the more motivated you will be to keep moving toward the final goal. Plan every day in advance. If you want to eat your biggest frog, it's essential to plan ahead. Breaking down your goals into step-by-step -step tasks makes it easier to get started. Though it's an initial investment of time, it will save you time down the line. Just think, stopping for directions may take 10 minutes, but plowing ahead without a map could cost you hours in the long run. Just 10 minutes of planning before your workday is shown to save you up to two hours of time that would otherwise be wasted. Also, it's extremely helpful to make a list the night before, because it gives your subconscious a chance to mull things over. Multiple lists that connect overarching goals to more granular tasks are even better. Start with one main list that encompasses everything you want to do. There is no time constrictions on this list, just get it all down on paper. Next, move to your monthly list. Write down everything you need to achieve in the next month. After this, you can plan for the coming week with an even smaller list. Finally, prepare a list for each individual day. All of these lists will work together to give you a sense of cohesion, while also making your tasks attainable. Apply the 80-20 rule to everything. The rule of 80-20 says that things are typically divided into two categories, the vital few, the top 20%, and the trivial many, the remaining 80%. This rule can be applied to many scenarios, but in regards to time and task management, understand that your most valuable tasks, your frogs, will generally only comprise about 20% of your to-do list. Even though these tasks are harder to start and might be more intimidating, they statistically take the same amount of time as less important ones. What's more, the trivial many tasks tend to multiply, meaning you will always be working but never really getting anything done. Commit to starting every day with the vital tasks, and you will see your productivity and your sense of accomplishment soar. Consider the consequences. If all tasks are either the vital few or the trivial many, how do you decide which category to place each item on our to-do list? Consequences are the key indicator of the importance of a task. Ask yourself, what will happen if I don't get this done? If completing the task has significant positive or negative consequences in the future, it's a big frog. 
the difference between successful and unsuccessful people is the ability to see long-term. Constantly ask yourself three key questions. One, what are my most important tasks? Two, what can only I do, and if done well, will make a big difference? Three, what is the best use of my time at this very moment? Honest answers to these questions will reveal which tasks are important and which can wait or be delegated. Use the ABCDE method continually. Plan your day and clarify your priorities and posteriorities with the ABCDE method. This is a tool so versatile that anyone from a CEO to a file clerk can utilize it and see immediate results. The first step is to make your to-do list for the day. Write down all of the tasks that are on your plate. Next, begin assigning the letters A, B, C, D, or E to each item before you start on the tasks. A. The task that you must do. This item has big consequences and cannot wait. If you have several A tasks, divide these further still into A1, A2, and so on. A1 is the biggest frog. Example, creating a presentation for your upcoming client meeting. B. The task that you should do. It has consequences, but they are mild and not nearly as motivating as the consequences for task A. Example, answering phone calls, texts, or emails. C. The tasks that would be all right to do, but don't carry do or die consequences. Example, having lunch with your coworker. D. The tasks that you should delegate to others. If a task can be carried out by someone else, pass it along so you can focus on more valuable accomplishments. Example, busy work, like filing or shredding documents. E. These tasks could be removed from your list. Their completion or elimination has no impact on your life or work. These kinds of tasks are often done out of habit or personal enjoyment. Example, printing documents that are now stored on a company server. The key is to never move to the next letter until you have completed the previous one. Following this rule will strengthen your willpower and increase your self-respect. And, of course, make sure you get the most important tasks done. Focus on key result areas. No matter what you do for a living, you've been hired to obtain certain results. If you're a janitor... One of your results should be a clean floor. If you're a cook, one of your results should be delicious food that brings customers back. Most roles can be broken down into roughly five key result areas. Clarify the key result areas in your specific role, because otherwise you won't be able to adequately perform and accomplish goals. Once you are clear on these areas, do a self-evaluation. Grade yourself in each key area so you can clearly see where you excel and where you should improve. You probably already know your weak areas before you assign the grade, and you may find yourself avoiding those tasks. After all, no one likes to dwell on their own weaknesses. But remember, you're only as good as your weakest area. Prepare thoroughly before you begin. Before starting on any task, make sure you've prepared your environment, tools, and required information. Only A task items should be the only thing in your field of vision. It's also important that this space be comfortable. You'll be less likely to wander away to grab a cookie, some coffee, and catch a few minutes of the news if your workspace is inviting. Your computer, pens, paper, calculator, and anything else you might need should be within reach so that you don't have to wander around to find them. Minimize or eliminate any need to leave the work area from the outset. Then start right away. Don't waste time worrying about perfection. It's best to get started and make corrections later. Learn from your mistakes in future iterations of the project or on other projects. Identify your key constraints and put the pressure on yourself. What's standing between where you are and where you want to be? Before starting important tasks, identify that constraint and alleviate it so that you can be productive. Sometimes constraints are external. For example, the project lacks resources. But internal constraints are generally what hold you back from excelling. Maybe you feel stressed or inadequate, or perhaps you're worn out from lack of rest. Successful people are willing to take responsibility for their internal limiting factors, and work to improve them, rather than excuse them. Often, studying yourself to find the limiting factor is your A task, because it sets the pace for the entire project. Self-motivation is another big key to success. Don't wait for someone else to show up and motivate you. Leaders are able to work without supervision. They manage themselves by setting the standards and deadlines, and by applying continual inward pressure. Unsuccessful people, on the other hand, wait to be instructed. They rely on someone else to pressure them before they get to work. Become your own role model, and hold yourself to a higher standard than others would hold you. 
Try harder and work better to build up your own reputation within yourself. You will find your self-esteem growing as you do your best and accomplish goals through your own motivation. Motivate yourself into action. Just as you are in charge of pressuring yourself into action, you are also responsible for motivating yourself to excel. If you want to be a top performer, you must provide your own encouragement. Being your own critic doesn't mean that you continually berate yourself. It means that you hold yourself to a high standard and apply the internal pressure to do your best. And as your own cheerleader, strive to remain positive at all times. Talk to yourself in encouraging and uplifting ways. Remind yourself how great you are, even if you don't believe it at first. Your self-esteem will begin to grow through positive affirmation. Optimists find more success in life and business than pessimists. Commit to these four optimistic behaviors every day. 1. Look for the good in the bad. What is the positive aspect of each situation? 2. Find the lesson in tough situations. You can learn and grow from setbacks. 3. Seek the solution to problems. Do not blame or escape. Focus on the action you can take. 4. Constantly focus on your goals. Be future-oriented. No matter the circumstances around you, what other people say or how you feel, you have the ability to choose your attitude. By combining a positive opinion of yourself with a focus on your goals, you will be excited to get started on tasks right away and do them well. Technology is a terrible master and a wonderful servant. Technology can be highly useful, but it becomes a drain on our productivity, health, and happiness if we allow it to control us. Make technology work for you. Do not work for technology. In order to remain focused, productive, and clear-headed, it's wise to unplug from technology regularly. Turn your phone off if it's distracting you. Important callers will leave a voicemail that you can return later. Schedule a few times during the day to intentionally check your email instead of responding to every new message right away. Additionally, be selective about which messages need a response at all. Sort all communication into urgent and non-urgent, category A and B. Keep your goals in mind when deciding which messages deserve your time. Tools like digital calendars and planners help you to remain organized. When shared with coworkers, they also help to show people when you do or do not have time for meetings or trivial work. If you schedule blocks of time on your calendar for task completion, people will see your full schedule and be less likely to drain your time with unimportant matters. As you begin working for the day, prepare your technology just like you prepare your workspace. Close all tabs and programs that are not necessary for your task and disable audible and visual alerts. This allows you to check your apps and messages on your own time, rather than becoming distracted constantly. Technology can also be a source of motivation and accountability, if you are intentional about it. When posting to social media, post about your goals and your progress. When followers like or comment, it can be highly encouraging. Similarly, if your followers are aware of your goals, you will be more likely to make progress because they will hold you accountable. The key is to make technology your servant, not your master. Focus your attention. Focused attention is essential for efficient, positive results. Every time you break concentration to check a notification, whether it's an email or a text message, it takes many precious minutes to focus back on your task and regain the level of absorption you had before the distraction. Your future may literally depend on your ability to put your phone down and get focused. Many people believe that they can multitask efficiently, but the truth is that humans are only able to focus on one thing at a time. Multitasking is actually just shifting your attention back and forth between different agendas, losing valuable time and quality. You are much more likely to make mistakes when your attention is constantly swinging around every time you hear a beep or a buzz. Many successful people have begun to adopt three habits regarding checking email in order to remain focused on their priorities. 1. Don't check your email when you wake up. It gives you a dose of dopamine but distracts you from eating your frogs. 2. When you have to check your emails, make it fast. Answer the urgent messages and then exit the program before you waste time on the trivial many. 3. Plan to check your email twice a day. Schedule blocks of time specifically for this purpose, ideally after you've already accomplished urgent tasks. Because email is an unavoidable part of most jobs, it's easy to use it for procrastination under the guise of work. Be honest with yourself about which messages require action and which are simply distractions. Slice and dice the task. There are two methods that allow you to get started, build momentum, and find the motivation to complete a large task or goal. The first is called the salami slice. 
In this method, you should write out every step in detail of the project and then divide it into slices, small portions that are attainable and unintimidating. Just as you would eat a whole salami one slice at a time, you can complete a project one small portion at a time. The other method is called the Swiss cheese method. You're setting aside chunks of time in which you will work on the project uninterrupted. It could be a three-hour period or a ten-minute period. You can start small as long as you're working diligently during the designated time slot. When the timer goes off, do something else for a little while before returning to it. Getting things done is energizing. By starting with small, manageable methods, you may just become addicted to the sense of accomplishment. Create large chunks of time. Your big, consequential A tasks usually require longer periods of unbroken concentration, even if they don't necessarily take more overall time than trivial tasks. Working on a large presentation in 10-minute chunks probably won't build the momentum you need to get it done on time. Develop the habit of setting aside larger blocks of time to dedicate to your biggest goals. When you plan your day the night before, schedule these large chunks of time as if they were important meetings. You must have the discipline to follow through, so treat each time slot as if it were an appointment with your biggest client. During these time periods, you should be free from all distractions so that you can focus your attention wholeheartedly on your work. Develop a sense of urgency. Successful people are action-oriented, and action-oriented people are impressive because of their ability to get large amounts of work done in the same amount of time that passive people are still thinking about where they should start. How do action-oriented people get so much done? Generally, they're good at tapping into a highly productive mental state called flow. This happens when you discipline yourself to get to work, and you work hard and continuously. These periods of time are energizing and motivating. You feel clarity on what you should do, and find it easy to get things done accurately. It's within these states of flow that we're often our most creative. Solutions that never would have occurred to us before come pouring out, providing even more motivation and speed. Having a sense of urgency is a great way to trigger a state of flow. Urgency is like racing against your own clock. You want to get started on tasks right away and finish them quickly. Urgency sparks action. Instead of talking about what you are going to do, you attack it with fervor. By becoming action-oriented and doing tasks with urgency, your performance will stand out for its speed and quality. You'll become a valuable asset. Single Handle Every Task If you want to be successful and accomplish your goals, understand the importance of single-minded focus. Studies have shown that when you focus your undivided attention to a task, the time needed to complete it is cut in half. Think about that. Half the time. Would you rather write your novel in six weeks or 12? The novel is the same either way, but single-minded focus saves your precious time for other tasks or priorities. Now ask yourself if those emails or texts are worth doubling your time commitment. Single-minded focus takes an incredible amount of discipline. When you choose to do something you should do, but don't necessarily want to do, you are showing self-discipline. The good news is that discipline can be developed like any other skill, through practice. The more you persist in a task until its completion, the stronger your self-discipline becomes. Plan ahead. Identify your biggest task, get started right away, and focus single-mindedly until that task is completely finished. Discipline yourself to eat that frog before you do anything else. Conclusion In order to be effective and successful, you must develop the habit of eating your frog. Choose your biggest, ugliest task of the day and do it first thing. It is your highest priority. This habit can be learned through practice, repetition, and self-discipline. Procrastination is the death of success. It drains your time, energy, and self-respect, ultimately leaving you stressed and unable to enjoy your life. Eat that frog so you can get your tasks done faster and better, leaving more time to do what you love and become your best self. About Brian Tracy Brian Tracy is an author, motivational speaker, and business consultant. Focused on helping individuals and organizations achieve their business goals, he has written over 80 books on professional development, including How the Best Leaders Lead, Kiss That Frog, and Maximum Achievement. Tracy founded Brian Tracy International, which specializes in educating and developing companies in order to find their maximum success. Thank you for listening to the snapshot of Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. If you liked what you heard, then make sure to explore the rest of our Snapshot library to continue gaining key insights from nonfiction books in a matter of minutes. 
Thank you for listening to our quick learning audiobook review series. If you like what you heard, then check out our channel for more free audiobook reviews. We post new audiobooks every week. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to be first to hear of our latest reviews.